Daryl Jackson's plea to the NCAA is rooted in a family concern for his mother, which is a, a very public thing that we understand to, to be the case. And that wasn't enough for the NCAA prior to the season and even in season uh, to say yes. So I'm curious what happened today with the NCAA, what happened with North Carolina, and whether or not it will have a direct impact the way we once thought it would, that if, in fact, Tez Walker was deemed eligible, Daryl Jackson would be deemed eligible and that they both got in their transfer ahead of the transfer rules changing. The significant changes that were made by it to this rule by the NCAA happened after they had already submitted and transferred. It never seemed fair regardless. Now I don't know if it will have an impact. We do know already, just to remind folks, that Daryl Jackson is eligible to play if Florida State is to make it to the college football playoff. He can play, he can start, he can, and, that, and he's continuing to practice. He's had an impact on practice, so he's in shape and ready to go. 